guys, it is Monday, November the 6th, and it is my birthday week. So I thought I might as well vlog this whole week because I am going to be quite busy. Today's Monday, today's working, I'm working. I've got a massage, a deep tissue massage at 12. It's currently 11 a.m. And I've also got a smear test later today, which I'm a little bit nervous about, but if you're 25 or if you're turning 25 or if you're over 25 and you've not done a smear test or a cervical screening yet, definitely make sure to do it guys or girls actually because it's so important to make sure that if you do have anything that you catch it early. So even though I'm scared, I'm gonna just have to do it. But anyways, right now the focus is I need to answer these emails and I need to have my breakfast. And I need to tidy up my place before this massage therapist comes because they're coming to my place. So I need to make sure it's a little bit presentable because right now there's a ring light, there's makeup, there's a tripod there. It's just a mess. Catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I just had my massage. It was really good. It was definitely needed. Painful, but good. My Shein parcels came and my heavy Cernucci parcel. So I'm gonna unpack those and I'm probably gonna do a proper Shein haul. I don't know if I should show you guys in this video or if I should do a separate Shein haul video because I got a few bits and pieces and I, honestly, I'm actually shook. Okay, let's unbox the Shein stuff. Okay, so I already got two parcels from Shein and these are two more orders because the first order I placed was this silver metallic dress. And I like the fit so much that I decided to get the brown color too. So this is what the dress looks like. It's really hard to imagine this on, but it's like tight and it has this like tie detail so that you can make it shorter on one side and it's like asymmetrical. I loved how this fit on me. And honestly, I ordered a similar dress, just a bit a different fit, but a similar dress from Soda London. That dress was 50 pound and the quality was so bad, I received it damaged, it was tore up. The fit was completely off, it was such a weird fit, so I had to return that. And this dress was 7 pound and the quality is so much better, the fit is right and I just love it, so I had to get it in another color. Right now, I'm still not 100% sure of what I'm gonna wear on my birthday. So I'm basically just collecting outfits and seeing whatever fits best or whatever looks best. Cause I'm also, I'm getting my hair braided, so. And then because I was so excited about the quality of my first order, I decided to place another order of these two dresses that I saw. And I didn't know which color to get, so I got both colors. I believe these dresses were like, I wanna say like 10 pound each. So guys, this is so cheap. They're just like a one shoulder, a cute little dress. So I got this champagne silver type of color and then this like gray silver. I'm really, really impressed by the material on these dresses, you guys. It's actually like such nice quality, especially for the price. So these are the two colors that I got. I am really leaning more towards this dark gray. And then I got this big package from Cernucci. Can I just say, I'm really impressed already because they're actually very heavy. And usually when it's heavy, you know it's gonna be good quality. These are the black cargos that I got. They are very baggy, by the way. I do wish they were a bit more like washed. These are a size 10, by the way. So whenever I order from like a new store, I'm always very skeptical about the sizing because I don't know, I just have a, I don't feel like, I don't know if I have a weird body or if everyone experiences this, but I have so many different sizes, like it really depends on the store. Like Zara jeans, I could easily be a size 12, but this, I ordered this in a size 10 because I feel like I just needed some good like pair of cargos. So I also got it in this, like this washed blue color. I think this is a bit dip. yeah, they are a bit different. They're not the same style. So these have these little straps on the bottom and it's a lot more like distressed baggy jeans type of vibe. So this is what it looks like. I'm honestly impressed. I don't have a full body mirror, so I'm gonna watch this clip back and see if it actually looks as good. But yeah, I love, I love the fit. I love the fit, the length is perfect and I really love the bagginess. I feel like it's the 
perfect, like, how do you say it? The perfect amount of bagginess, if that makes sense. Like, some baggy jeans are super baggy, and I just feel like it doesn't suit me very well. But I feel like this is really cute. This is really a vibe. So, this one, I feel like this fits a little bit different than the first one. It's also a lot longer, even though they're both a size 10. Um, and this has a bit of a bigger gap in the back. I still would probably keep this though, just because I feel like I need a good pair of black cargos. I like how it looks on the top part, but also the waist. I don't know, I really like the first pair. This one, I'm not so sure about. Good morning, I'm currently filming for my phone because I'm running late. But I'm on my way to a last minute waxing appointment because I don't know why I left it last minute. I literally messaged her last night because I wasn't sure if my waxing lady was working again because she just gave birth to a baby so I got her some flowers um, and yeah we're on our way hey guys so as you can see that wax appointment woke me right up <laughs> um, I can't wait to get home and have breakfast because I'm actually hungry but those waxing appointments I feel like they never get easier but then again they do um, but it's so worth it. If you're ever wondering, or if you're ever scared to get a Brazilian wax or Hollywood wax or whatever they want to call it, this is your sign to get it. It's so worth it. And to be honest, the pain is not even that bad. At the start, it's bad, but then it's really short pain. So it's really worth it. And if you are if you go to a proper experienced one, it's going to be so quick. Like It literally took about... 20 minutes the appointment not even 20 minutes and I've been to some some like um, wax ladies that took like 45 minutes even one hour for a Brazilian wax and that's just too much why am I sitting here for one hour in pain so yeah I would definitely recommend you go to an experienced one if you want a waxing lady in Manchester I'll put her Instagram down below in the description box honestly I love her she saves me every time Fall is really here. Oh my god. I love it. Now it's back home. I need to work. I need to wash my hair. And I need to blow dry it all before 5 p.m. Because actually before 4 p.m. Because I need to get to my appointments as well. And it's currently 12. And I still have to work and I still have some meetings. So it's gonna be an interesting day. But I cannot wait to get my hair braided. I'm so excited. Hey you guys, so I just finished work. Well, I had to jump off that meeting because I have to wash my hair and blow dry it. And it's 10 past three right now. My appointment is at five. I'm probably gonna have to leave like 4.30 ish. I need to double check where it is. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I basically have an hour to wash and blow dry my hair. One thing about me, I hate blow drying my hair. It's so, it takes so long. The birthday prep is really stressing me out and I'm so tired as well. I don't know why. I wish I could take a nap, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. I might have to get a Red Bull on the way to the hair appointment because otherwise I will fall asleep there. Um, and I might just either take my iPad or my laptop and do some work or something because I'm gonna have to sit there for five hours. It's giving inches, but low key though, I paid for it's medium. This is basically medium. But it's okay, it's still cute. Hey guys, so as you can see, my hair is done. I like it, but I paid for it's medium braids, which is small, medium. But I feel like she made the parting on the top way too big. But other than that, I do like it. It's not the best braids I've had, but it will do. It will do and she was quick so I'm not complaining and I'm sure that once I do my makeup and my outfit and everything it's gonna look good regardless I also feel like when you first get your braids done it always feels like it's kind of stiff and like a bit too fresh maybe I like to give it a few days so I'm actually glad that I'm getting them done today because initially I had my appointment scheduled for Thursday I moved my appointment to today because I might have a shoot on Thursday so I thought why not move my appointment to Tuesday and try to make it happen so the shoot still hasn't been confirmed yet 
fingers crossed it all works out and I'm gonna go to the shoot in London on Thursday. If I do, then you guys will see it in this vlog, which is so cool because it will be like a great achievement for me. But if not, I might be a little upset, but honestly, God's plan. I really do believe in God's plan and God's timing. So if it doesn't happen, it's just not meant to be. I literally only had one sandwich today and it's 10 p.m. right now. It's past 10 p.m. So I'm definitely, if you have a cat, does your cat do this? Like literally every time my cat goes to do his business in a litter box, he scratches the whole litter box for like a good five minutes. Anyways, I'm gonna make some instant noodles because I don't have the energy to cook a whole meal right now. I'm working tomorrow literally all day from morning until midnight. I probably won't vlog a lot tomorrow just because I also don't have any appointments scheduled for tomorrow. So it's literally just gonna be me working. Um, and then Thursday, fingers crossed, I'll be going to London for the shoot and I'll obviously take you guys with me. And then Friday, the birthday shenanigans are gonna start. I made a checklist, let me actually show you guys. I made this checklist yesterday, so I did my brows. I've now done my hair and I've also waxed today. I put outfit here because I have about six dresses that I ordered. I have some dresses from Shein. I also bought a dress from Zara yesterday, so I just wanted to wait until my hair was done so I can try on the outfits again. Because I tried them all on yesterday and I definitely have a few good options in there. But I just wanted to wait until I got my hair done so I can try it on properly. Um, and I'm getting my nails done on Friday morning and then I put everything shower here as well. Just because I need that as a reminder. I am gonna stop vlogging here for today and I'll catch you guys probably on Thursday. But I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. And I cannot wait to take you guys with me on the birthday weekend. I'm so excited. And literally every day there's a new person joining. Um, and I'm just like the more the merrier. It's gonna be a big group. We're all just gonna have fun together. And I'm so excited. So yeah, I will catch you guys on Thursday. You guys, I actually wanna scream. I'm so excited. I just feel like, uh, I don't even wanna get all sentimental and stuff. Okay, so in case you missed it, I just had a meeting this morning with the producer um, of Beta Squad and Chunks. They were casting for a video for Chunks' channel and basically I'm going to London tomorrow for the shoot. So that is great, it's really, really exciting. I am gonna vlog. I had to sign an NDA. But then I asked the producer, is it okay if I vlog a little bit behind the scenes, whatever? And he was like, yeah, sure, but just make sure to post the vlog after the video's been live. So if this video is really late, I'm sorry, but this is why. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited because I've been watching Chunks and Beta Squad literally for years now. Literally, when I think when I went to uni, that's when I started watching them. So probably like, 2018 I want to say 2018 I think I first watched chunks and then I found out about the beta squad and the rest and I always used to think to myself I would love to film that type of content because I just feel like it's so much fun you can show a lot of your personality so I'm really really excited I am gonna vlog the behind the scenes like I said so I'm gonna take you guys with me to London you know what it is I'm actually not nervous about meeting like chunks and stuff because I've, I've spoken to Chunks a few times on Instagram. He's a really cool guy, so I don't really feel nervous about that. I just feel nervous about being in a whole production and like this is my first time being in a whole production for a YouTube video. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I'm just gonna go into it with an open mindset and just have fun, enjoy myself, and kind of learn from it as well. So yeah, I'm really excited. You guys are gonna see me on Chunks' channel soon. I'm guest, I'm really guest. Good morning. It is 7.40 a.m. and your girl is tired. I slept about, I wanna say three and a half hours. Um, I got home from work yesterday, last night, and I just started cleaning my apartment because I had to, I, like I literally, I, I won't have time when I'm back from London. So I stayed up cleaning until like 3.30 a.m. And then I had to sleep, obviously. And I'm just gonna start getting ready, you guys. I'm not gonna talk too much this morning. A few moments later.
Hey guys, so we're at the shoot for the Chung's video. This is not gonna be out until after, but yeah. this is Shanae. I'm Shanae, and we're literally here with all the girls, and they're trying the boxes right now. It looks so unreal, but I'm um, excited for these girls to go on the set and do it because I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you all? I'm a bit nervous, so you know. A little bit, yeah. Because the box is ruining my bun. I haven't even tried it. Has anyone actually tried it on? I'll Guys, we're getting boxes over our heads. It was so weird. My bun is I don't have to hold it. Yeah, oh, is your bun not letting? It's not working. Yeah, look, that looks alright. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, imagine yeah. if it falls off. You look the best, honestly, because I feel like it, I feel like it matches your jacket. Yeah, yeah. it actually does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does. Your jacket, like the arms are holding it up. The <laughs> and then if you just tuck in the yeah. excess cable, yeah, go up and under, and yeah, you can just stick it a little bit lower because we want to keep it away from the chain. Do you want? Yeah. Just do what I do, where she got. Yeah, it's done. Um, does that feel good? Do you want me to tuck all this stuff? Okay, um, and it is a bit, yeah, scared, <laughs> so you might need to hold this like this. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready? On our way. This damn box though. There we go. Oh shit, I thought this chunks, yes. <laughs> oh, it is hot in here. It is much warmer in here. Guys, you're in the video. Ready. <laughs> just finished filming with Chan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just filmed a nice one, a good video. It's gonna come out on my channel very soon. And um, yeah, Lily was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So this is the best vlog in the world. Uh, make sure you subscribe to her channel because it's the greatest one of all. Yeah. Time. Subscribe, but yeah, also yeah. make sure you hit the post notification yeah, 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 bell. Yeah, yeah. Comment yeah. Yeah. It lets you know when a new video's yeah, out. Um, yeah, love. Hey guys, I am back home. It's literally 11 p.m. right now. Your girl is tired. This makeup has been on since 9 a.m. this morning and it still looks flawless. My Cheeto missed me. Hi, my lovely. Hey, my love. Today was hectic, it was busy, it was fun. Literally, as soon as I finished my last meeting, which ran over, I had to put on my shoes and run to the train station. I made it just in time from a train, and as soon as I got to London, I went straight to the studio to shoot. And we had to wait there for a little while because the video before that was running over and then we did the video And then we talked for a little bit after the shoot and then everyone kind of went their own way Well, I went home anyways because I didn't really want to stay in London because I have so much stuff to do still here uh, Before our plans tomorrow. So I was just like I'm not even gonna meet up with anyone. I have my cousins waiting for me. I had my friend waiting for me, but I was just like, I'm just gonna go home because I have so much to do and I'm gonna see you guys this weekend anyway. So I just went straight back to the station and straight back to Manchester and now I finally got home. Today was really so exciting though. I feel like the shoot, I was so nervous. Like me and the other girls, we were so nervous beforehand. I don't know why I was nervous. I feel like I didn't know what to expect. Like I didn't know what I was walking into. Obviously, we had all been briefed on the concept of the video, but you just never know what kind of questions they're gonna ask. And for some reason, they put me as number one. And you know what? I was hoping if I go in like third or fourth, they'll put us in that order, but I went in as the fourth girl and they put me as the first one. So when they asked me, tell me a fun fact about you, my dumbest blanked and I said I like doing makeup. That's the most boring answer that you can give. I could have said, oh, I do YouTube. Oh, I, I don't know, whatever. I own a hair business. I could have said those things. Why did I say I like doing makeup? Every freaking girl likes doing makeup. I'm really bad with coming up with answers to questions like that. I felt like, you know, those are like the job interview questions. But um, yeah, besides that, I think uh, I did pretty well. I wish I could have shown my personality a little bit more, but the concept and the format of the video didn't really allow that much talking anyway, so I don't think um, I did that bad. <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really fun to meet Chungs and Philly and Harry 
and Trunks is such a nice guy, honestly, bless him, he is so nice. I feel like everyone always talks about, you know when you watch their content and in the comments they're always talking about how, how humble and down to earth these guys are in their videos, but that's literally how Trunks is in, in real life too, honestly, it was, so, it was such a nice experience working with him and with the other guys as well, of course. Honestly, great way to start my birthday, even though I am freaking exhausted. I feel like it was a good way to end my 24 and to enter my 25th year. But honestly, it was so much fun. It was really fun to film. Um, so um, yeah, I would love to do that type of content. I would love to do, you know, foot asylum type of content, JD type of content, where they're just doing like game shows and things like that. But yeah, who knows, who knows? We might have to do a little rebrand. I feel like I'm all over the place with my socials and with what I want because some days I'm like, oh, I wanna do like more fashion, fashion content. I wanna do more lifestyle content. I wanna do more travel content. And then some days I'm like, oh, I wish I had like a group of creator friends and we can just do all these funny videos together. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just, and I'm just, my mind's just everywhere. Anyways, I am running on three hours of sleep. I slept in the train back home. I knocked out for like a good hour. I was so tired. My birthday is in one hour, so am I gonna stay up? Probably am. By the time I remove my makeup, my cousin is coming over as well, she, cause she's staying here. So by the time all of that happens, it's gonna be midnight anyways. We can say happy birthday and then go to sleep because we need to be up early tomorrow. She's got work. I've got my nail appointment in the morning. Uh, so yeah, it's a long day. Birthday prep is so long. Anyways, big, big shout out to Chunks, to Young Philly, to Harry Panero. They're honestly great guys to work with. When I was living at home during the pandemic, I used to watch like a lot of the Foot Asylum stuff, a lot of the Beta Squad stuff, especially because they lived together in that mansion back then. So they did a lot of videos together, obviously. And my mom used to always say like, oh, why are you always watching these Somali guys? First of all, she thought they were all Somali. But she used to always say, why are you always watching these Somali guys? So when I told her about the shoot, I was like, guess what? I'm going to London for a shoot. And she was like, what shoot? I was like, think about it. Who do I always watch on YouTube? She, was, she mentioned some artists. I was like, no, mom, not music. Um, YouTubers. And she was like, oh my God, the Somali guys. I was like, <laughs> I was dying. Yeah, you know, it's East Africans. We gotta unite, we gotta support each other and all of that good stuff. And I genuinely think Somali people are the funniest people on earth. But yeah, let me not say that out loud before the Eritreans attack me. Um, <laughs> it's all love, it's all love my people. I am gonna take off my makeup, which is still so flawless. I'm honestly shook. I wish I could sleep with my makeup on and just have this for tomorrow, but I'm just gonna recreate this look tomorrow. And we are about to get lit. I'm so excited. Good morning. Um, I am on my way to get my nails done now. Jeez. I really missed my lips with the lip balm. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my way to get my nails done now. And I am tired. I'm so tired. My cousin came over last night um, cause she's staying with me this weekend and <coughs> Obviously at midnight, it was my birthday, and then we just, like, we were just on the phone to my other cousins, just talking until, like, 2 a.m. Your girl is tired. So, this is needed today. This is very much needed. But, yeah, I'm on my way to get my nails done. I cannot wait, because the nails need some love. Um, I still don't know what I'm getting done, to be fair. It's definitely going to be Frenchies. But I'm not sure if I just want whites or like a chrome vibe. I'm excited for this weekend. Tonight we're going to the Ira Star concert. I know like maybe three of her songs, so it's gonna be an interesting one. Um, I'm hoping to go to bed a little bit on time today. I doubt it's gonna happen because it's gonna be the three of us staying in my house tonight. And I just feel like, you know, when girls sleep over, we just talk too much. Tomorrow is the big day. I'm gonna go to Costco in the morning with my friend. We're gonna do some snacks and drinks and everything to get it ready for the pre-drinks at my place. And then after that, we're going to the club. And then on Sunday, we are trying to do something fun with the cousins.
We're getting ready, you guys. I was literally in Pandora and Swarovski yesterday in traffic. I put it. Looking for gifts for you. Really? I think about it. I was looking for it. My. Oh, this is so cute. What is it? Wait, is it a necklace? It's a necklace and, and a bracelet. Lydia, where do you also cheat to have? She's a Cheeto Howie. Oh my god! Thank you! But why? Why do we have the same idea though? Now I need to come up with something else. No, what the hell? You don't need to do anything. Hey guys! We are ready for the concert. Outfit of the day. Jacket is... I think Bershka. I bought it a year ago. Top is Shein. Jeans are Cernucci and heels are Primark, I think. Primark. This is the vibe that we're on. The bag is Primark as well. We're going to Ira Star. I'm going to vlog the rest of the night on my phone. So, yeah, we're in a rush. The concert started 15 minutes ago, so bye. <laughs> Good morning. We made it through the night. Um, we're on our way to Costco now for a Costco run. We're gonna get some drinks and get some snacks and yeah, just prepare for tonight really. Go to order. Just finished going to Asda. Best friend. <laughs> 
Happy birthday, Lillian. Thank you. Give me 25. Get the quote. 25. And Sunny. Hey, happy birthday, Lillian. Happy birthday, Jonas. Happy birthday, everyone. I hope you guys have an amazing birthday. Yeah, we love, love you guys. Wow. I hope you have the best birthday ever. Um, see you next year, I guess. We'll do this again. Oh, happy birthday. Hey guys, um, I am alive. We are all alive and well. Uh, today is actually Monday night. Like I literally just got home from work. Uh, but this weekend was so, so, so good. I didn't really vlog on Sunday because my camera died. And really we slept until like 3 p.m. and then just got out the house and had some food. Some of the people that came from London had to go back home um, on Sunday. So yeah, we just had a chill vibe on Sunday. We just went for some food and then we came back to mine and chilled and played some card games and all of that stuff. So yeah, it was such a wholesome and nice and fun weekend. Like I really, really enjoyed myself. Honestly, this has been one of the best birthdays I've had in years. Literally everything, everything was just great. Everything was perfect. We started pre-drinks a little bit late on Saturday because people were running late, but it was still so much fun. And obviously I couldn't take my camera to the club because first of all, I don't want to break my camera. But second of all, there's no point because you're not going to hear me because of the music and I can't use the clips because of copyright. So I'm going to add some footage, hopefully. Hopefully I can add some footage of the club to this vlog. But if not, um, yeah, I'll try my best to make a nice little edit of this vlog. Overall, I really, really enjoyed my birthday weekend and I'm so, so, so grateful and so blessed to have like all these amazing people around me because, because my birthdays in the last few years have been a little bit different and I just missed coming together with like a big group of friends and just enjoying myself and like, you know, just on your birthday you should have fun and let loose so that's exactly what we did we just had loads of fun everyone got home safe and everyone was safe and good and enjoying themselves and a lot of us had birthdays in November or like the end of October so I pulled everyone in when we were cutting the cake and blowing the candles and I said it's all of our birthdays today so yeah I'll try to insert as many clips as possible I'm not sure what this vlog is gonna look like but I just wanted to grab my camera and record a little outro for you guys so to my friends and family that is watching that was here thank you thank you thank you thank you so much like i literally love you guys so much i am so grateful and so blessed to have you people in my life because not everyone is blessed to have cousins or family friends or just friends in general that they really can get along with but specifically you know cousins like i'm really blessed to have cousins that are like my best friends i really don't take it for granted the people that i have in my life right now i'm really really grateful for them and 
everyone was just on good vibes everything everyone was enjoying themselves even though you know how sometimes when you mix different groups you might worry a little bit or you might feel responsible for making sure everyone feels okay and comfortable and good literally everyone was so social and everyone was just socializing with each other and it literally felt like we were a big group of friends that have been friends for like 20 years but half of the people were meeting each other for the first time and I just love it I just love it when groups get together and naturally just vibe and get along so yeah I know I'm, I'm talking way too much I'm going way too much into detail about this but we honestly had such a great time and I just want to say thank you to all my people love you guys so much and also thank you to my subscribers to my followers to my friends and family that weren't there um, and anyone really that congratulated me on my birthday I really really appreciate it I had lots of messages and comments on my Instagram um, snap and all that stuff so I really really appreciate you guys and I really am so grateful for having such an amazing community that is always supporting me and always looking out for me and always showing love so thank you guys so much I love you guys and I will definitely 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 try to vlog more and just in general be a lot more consistent with my uploads so yeah my birthday week was a success from the chunk shoot to the Ira star concert and then to Saturday just having fun with all of my cousins and my friends it was honestly a 10 out of 10 this whole weekend was just great so yeah I'm really grateful for that I'm feeling very blessed very loved today I'm going to end this vlog here so if you haven't subscribed already please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to reach 20k subscribers and if you're new here welcome I hope you enjoyed this vlog I have a lot more vlogs and other videos on my channel so make sure to check them out and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload I love you guys so 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 much God bless and I'll see you in the next video bye